Today is Friday the 10th. Is that right? Yes. Hello. Yeah. Today's our last full day here in Cornwall. We was going to go to the beach today, like, and, and properly do the beach. But the weather's not that great. Again, surprisingly. This whole week's been a bit mixed. Rather than do the beach, we sort of missed out on the seal sanctuary when the day after we arrived because we ended up going to Lizard Point. So I think today we're going to go to the seal sanctuary this morning and then it's about an hour's drive from the seal sanctuary down to Land's End. But yeah, all in all, it should be a pretty good day. We have arrived at the seal sanctuary. Definitely starting to rain more now, so I probably picked a good time to come here. Um, hoping it's bigger than it looks just from that building. Um, and I'm hoping it's all indoors as well. It wasn't, but the weather did improve. Nez was thinking it was all indoors, and oh. I think it's all going to be outdoors. <laughs> Each day, the team here alternate which tank is emptied for cleaning. But don't worry, a few hours later, water comes gushing back in and gives the seal some fresh water to play in. The Cornish Seal Sanctuary is a charity that rescues and rehabilitates grey seal pups from around the Cornish coastline. Around 70 seals have to be rescued each season. It's also home to those that need special care and are unable to return to the wild like this one, who is blind. Each seal costs around £2,000 to rehabilitate, so the seal sanctuary heavily relies on support from guests and donations to keep going. The underwater viewing area was a wonderful way for Penny to view the seals. It's the first time she's ever seen them and was completely mesmerized by their graceful movements. The sanctuary is also home to Humboldt penguins, who are typically found in Chile and Peru. It is estimated that fewer than 10,000 pairs remain due to climate change, habitat destruction and overfishing. Colonies living in sanctuaries like this may one day be the key to their species' survival. This is Squidge, the newest arrival of Team Penguin who was born on these grounds in 2018. So the seal sanctuary is done. I had to sort of race around the last little bit because Penny got a little bit grumpy. She's, we, we are all a bit hungry, but obviously she comes first. Um, and we are going to be heading off to Land's End shortly, so we're going to find a fish and chip place along the way. It's amazing, isn't it? You don't do an awful lot in a day, but it suddenly just takes it out of you. Maybe it's still the walking, maybe it's just trying to carry, you know, Penny. It's really cool seeing the seals though, and the penguins. It'd be nice to have spent a bit more time there. But we have got a free pass, the tickets do enable you to come back uh, within 12 months. So, we, you know, obviously we're planning to come back next year, sometime maybe June, July. Parking. So 
We have arrived at Land's End. This is the end of the land. This is the westernly most point of England. It's in the southwest of the country. And we're about to see the sign that literally says Land's End. It's a bit windy by the coast. I am a little bit chilly. So behind me here is the end of England. This is Land's End. Uh, you can see the cliff just dropped straight off into the sea as well. So it's, you don't want to get too close to the edge. Uh, but you can see just how violent the waves can be against the cliff face. Also, unsurprisingly, it's very windy and therefore pretty cold. <laughs> It's always a part of the coast, pretty, pretty much any coast where you are just looking out into the vastness of the sea, knowing that somewhere beyond there is land. But there's just something about knowing it's the end of a particular point, like this is just the end of the, the country, really. I think also coming to a place like this, you could think of something quite profound to say, something philosophical. I've got nothing. I've got absolutely nothing. <laughs> just enjoy the view. There are plenty of things to see and do here, including a 6,000 miles per hour ride from Land's End to John O'Groats in the northern tip of Scotland, shopping and a 4D cinema to name just a few. But my task was still to locate the famous Land's End signpost. So as you can see just over my shoulder here, we have the Land's End sign, which I finally found. That sort of marks the point of Land's End. So many people have been stood here over the years, it's been a very popular place to take photos. Celebrities have been here, charity, charity ventures have begun and ended here. Come on then. Oh, it was a big step down, wasn't it? You know, from this angle, you're the same size as Morph. <laughs> hey, ho, smash, fucker, let's go. Take on the pirates, yo, ho, ho. Hey, ho, smash, fucker, let's go. Take on the pirates, go, go, go. Do the pirate cheer. Aha! You're funny, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you being funny. Aha! <laughs> Aha! It was great to spend the day outdoors in all that fresh air. And now we head back for our final night here in Cornwall. <laughs> 